Hey, hello there everyone. You are listening to Fire Emblem Engage and you might also be watching it too. We are going to play another Paralogue today because I want to get him out of the way and I want to get a little bit challenged on here. And Raisins, you just told me this is the only chapter in the game that you did not complete, is that right? That is correct. So by, by now I have just finished the game. Um, Congrats. For recording this, I think the night after, it was so good. It was, thank, it was so good. <laughs> And no, it was it was very nice to complete the game. Yeah, this is the only one that I didn't do. Um, I think it was mostly because I saved like all the paralogs for the end, and I think I did like five of them on one stream, and the next <laughs> I just felt like winning the game. So that's <laughs> that's that's really the main reason why I didn't do the paralog. I just like I I felt like doing only paralogs one day, and then I felt like only winning the game the next. But the, the, this one should be pretty fun. Uh, I think you said you, you have absolutely no idea which map this is. You can't tell at all by the screen. By the no, the title there, right? is just so, so cryptic. <laughs> Crypt. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I God damn uh, it. <laughs> this is the one that, that made it very easy for me. I know some of the others because um, of accidentally seeing it or something like that. Um, or guessing it by the title. This is by far the most obvious one besides the arena, I guess. That one's pretty obvious too for, for Lucina. But yeah, it's, it's the Byleth one. So, curious yeah. to find out what happens here. Um, I'm really going to miss my Dance of the Gods for a moment map. Uh, but I've been told that this one is pretty hard. And I know I said that for every paralogue. But I think the problem was that a lot of people told me that when they're playing Maddening, and I'm just playing on hard, which I think is a big step down with regards to paralogue specifically. Like, for example, the lane paralogue apparently is just crazy on Maddening. So maybe that's why I'm having an easier time. And maybe that's why I'm able to talk so much smack about the paralogues. Mm -hmm. We did get a lot of comments about lane paralogue. I think... I do remember going into Lin Paralog and remembering like, wow, there are a lot of enemies here on Maddening. But I think the the enemy quality for that Paralog was a lot lower on Maddening. But this one, I do remember there was like, there was a lot of enemies and also they were tough too. And it, this one also just had a higher level recommendation than the others. But oh, let, let, let's get into it and check it out because sure. we'll never really know until we open it up. Yeah. I mean, I have like seven emblem rings. How hard can it be, right? Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And... Another another thing is too, if you really delay the paralogs until you have more rings, I think they do end up easier. Yeah. That's just what I decided to do in general. What is that in the back there? Is that a throne? This resembles the holy tomb. That's a place from my world. What is the holy tomb? It's where the goddess Sothis sleeps. For the Church of Seros, this is the holiest place of all. To ensure the safety of the tomb, a monastery was built atop it. Okay, so why is it here? Only a very few know the legend of Saint Seros in the Holy Tomb. Saint Seros received power and revelation from the goddess and, with it, a sacred duty. She was to save the people of Fodlin and use her power wisely in order to lead them. Perhaps it's inevitable that we'd be guided here. Why do you say that? If the bond between us is to further strengthen, <laughs> then you must face a trial here. I see. And you want me to fight you, Byleth? Show me whether you can wisely use the power you've gained on your journey so far. Understood. In your eyes, I see no hesitation. Good. Ready yourself. I'm ready. And I won't hold anything back. That's great. The one, one of the few emblems that has a bond with uh, Alir actually going, hey, we need to strengthen our bond. <laughs> also, it's it's kind of hard for them to write these paralogs because they can be played in any order. So they have to explain what you have to do, but they don't have to do it in a way that's obnoxious for when you're playing like 12 of them. And so they end up with this little mid-ground where they kind of explain it every time. I think they explain it properly for Lucidan and every other one is like kind of a recap. Kind of interesting. Yeah, no. Ooh, wow. It, it was... It, it was kind of funny running into a paralogue, and I think Alir was like surprised to hear they had to fight the emblem. It's like, dude, you did like <laughs> what seven you, of these by now. Did you pay attention to the stream? Like, you we did like four of these by now. I know. Come on, come on. You, sh you should have been able to figure that one out. But yeah, no. I mean, I, I do like little story explanations. I think they all do a pretty good job of kind of roughly recapping like what this place was either in the world or in the story. Yeah, I do like that. I agree. And, and to be fair, like the recap maps are some of the most interesting maps in the game. Although the story maps are quite good too. I'm not sure which one I like better, but yeah, in general, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Uh, yeah, I would not have guessed that this is the one that they brought from Three Houses. I would have thought, yeah, either like twelve or thirteen. But I guess story. I, I think story-wise, this is probably like 
one of the more impactful maps, right? So there's a couple they could have picked. I can see this one. I can see a couple of others one too, like you know, hunting by daybreak or you know, all these emotional story beat chapters like ground or field battle or uh, the first mock battle. A lot of them could have worked, but this one works, I think, for the concept of paralogs because it's kind of like a, a confined space where you have to fight tough enemies. I think that fits the paralog idea very well. A sub boss <laughs> with a health bar. Oh, three of them. Interesting. Look at Byleth. So three health bars total, just like Corrin. Mm -hmm. And sort of creator. I don't think I have this yet. This is probably what you get for higher level. Uh, this I saw in my uh, list. This is what he uses in the arena, which is very stupid because it hits on magic. So he does like jack squat for damage all the time. When I'm oh, no. in the arena. It doesn't matter if you win that battle or not. I just think it's funny. Uh, yeah, the weapons they use in the arena are kind of weird because mm -hmm. I, I think it just has to be whichever emblem weapon you most recently equipped when using that emblem. Because <laughs> there would be times when I'd fight like, I don't know, Leaf and he just has a killer axe and it's like, all right, you know, just, what are you going to do? Crit me for 12? And then like there are times when I go into Lynn and she's doubling me for like 37 each attack. I'm like, what the hell? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? I do wonder if he's going to be able to use his supporting skills on the uh, on the other units here. Considering there are support units near him with health bars, I want to say he probably will. Oh, got two mm -hmm. key depths next to him as well. That's going to be a interesting formation for sure. And then two of these massive fabrication dragons. Uh, these are phantom worms as opposed to corrupted worms. So I guess they're weak to worm slayers and stuff. They are indeed, and weak to Mirgri too. So. Or Mergly's or Mulligir or whatever they call it. Okay, I do have that on on, uh, on Lin and ATA, so that could work. Okay, well first we'll have to tackle our way down. And I see some uh, some crystals. I think you're supposed to protect these. I also know that they give Jack Squat for rewards. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know the reward is very yeah. bad. Uh, Don't sweat it. I mean, in this one, it's not like the Three Houses map where they have to steal it and escape, right? And you know they just destroy it, right? Yeah, yeah they, just, they just destroy it, and that's what uh -huh. the objective is related to. Fair. Uh, I'll go over the emblem rings that I've chosen real quick. So we have to leave off Byleth off of Valir. So I gave him Leaf instead to see if we can do damage with a quadruple hit. Uh, we've seen some very embarrassing quadruple hits in a couple episodes ago with like uh, Hyacinth, I think, used it mm -hmm. for like. Yeah. <laughs> he, he really overkilled those Lin doubles, but other than that, he wasn't able to do a whole lot of damage with it. Um, so I'm going to try it on, on Alir, but if he doesn't get to use it, so be it. Uh, ATA Lin, as usual. Diamant and Ike is pretty standard at this point. I was going to switch it up a little bit. Um, reasons you didn't see, but I used uh, Ike on Seed all last episode for some funny great oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Okay, now I gotta see it. I gotta yeah. see it. Uh, this is the same. Uh, Chloe, Erica, I switched it up with, uh, with Louise, because I want to see if Louise can make, use the Brave Lance to his advantage, because he doesn't double anything anything at all so it's like okay maybe we can put the strength to use with the brave lance and that means chloe has to be stuck with like erica or something and then zelkov mm -hmm. with the good old uh, dodge machine and i think zelkov can probably hold off one side for a little bit while i worry about the other uh, there's not much going on in the middle of this map besides these worms i could just probably just stay at ranger for a little bit uh just take care of the right and left side with a overwhelming first offense like maybe uh chloe Again, I'm, I'm playing it blindly, so I have to figure out on the spot what to do here. Uh, you do double these sword guys, ATA, that's great. And you have 43 attack, so you can, I think, steal their speed as well. So we could use ATA to kill one. Uh, you just get some speed takers straight away, yeah. Yeah, I might as well, right? And I think Chloe might be able to kill another one, 34. I think she's like just a little bit shy. The silver, unfortunately. I'm not sure. I wonder if they, if their AI prioritizes like breaking the crystals or attacking your units. That's what I wonder too. I, did you not come to a conclusion about that in your own playthrough? No, I never even opened the map. Frankly, <laughs> I put Louise here because uh, he uses lances. He's pretty good at breaking these at the very least. Oh, he can't get through here, can he? Yeah, that's crystal range. Okay. Yeah, I think with that's still pretty good. Yeah, I can like canter with Louis or. Um, uh, Chloe doesn't have Cantor, but Louise does, so we could probably get something done there. Maybe even engage him right away, use the Brave Lance, kill these guys. And Marin on here, 37, 42 is a lot. Yeah, I don't think she lives, but Diamant probably does, because I is buff AF. And that would leave me Zelkov for the middle if I wanted to. Put Zelkov Just Fog here. Machine down the middle? Yeah, Fog Machine these two while staying out of range of Worms and clean him up next turn. I'll see if that works out. 
I look forward to it. Me too. Here we go. Can you see how much damage the quad fight, hit does? Keep your eyes wide. Always know where your enemies are. <laughs> he says that as he looks super tired. Mm -hmm. What are those things scattered around the battlefield? Those are my targets, and I will destroy them. Unless you can prevent me from doing so. I'll guard them well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know about that. Rewards depending on how many you can protect. Yeah, apparently the reward for protecting them all is very bad. Or the, or the same as protecting like most of them. So understood. I'm gonna choose turns to out, not worry too much about it. It turns out you're just getting pranked, and it's like yeah. a million. <laughs> it's a prank, bro. Okay, no matter how often I have to rewind, I'm gonna, probably gonna do this. Ooh, this music. Ooh. Ah, of course. It's the organ. Wait, it's just Fortnite wins? Always has been. Goodbye. Yeah, the remix is a fun part of the paralogue too. I mean, like, in addition to the other parts, but yeah. they are a fun part of the paralogue. Strength speed, by the way, thank you. Yes, always. Thank you, very cool ATA. Uh, if we're going for little breaks, we have to do Let's a little go. prank there. Uh, let's see, Cito makes it up to there, so if I want to dance, I have to go here. Javi Travely? Who knows? I could Javi Travely, but because I'm super secret, I don't have Cantor, so what I'm thinking of doing actually is uh, engaging using the Brave Lance. I hope that's enough. Emblem, mm. engage. Oh, that should be enough right here. It's been a while, old friend. Brave Lance? Uh, Louis Sigurd. It's not quite enough, but it is a lot. Mm. So maybe we should Javi first. Javi, and then go back to and then Dance with Seedal and get the other one. The YouTube comment special. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. One, two. There you go. Why not have Chloe do it all over here, man? Looks like that. Looks like she's just got it. Cantor <laughs> uh, is a sync skill, right? So we can just use it without having to engage. Yeah, we always have Cantor. All right, perfect. In that case, I will hoard my engage as I always do. Momentum. Ooh, I'm gonna get a massive momentum on the other guy. That stacks with the Brave Lance double hit, right? Let's go. Uh, ooh, it only applies on the first hit. No. Why'd you have to make this so sad? Mine. I, 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 could, I could have lied to you, I <laughs> yeah, guess. That's, but... <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> 21. <laughs> that's fair. You don't have to lie to me, reasons. It's okay. We'll go down here. See if this works out. Uh, I have another credit code if I don't want to, if I get want to get more momentum. Uh, Brave Lance is what I said, right? Yes. There you go. Take that. The experiment. That oh, nice. Beautiful, beautiful. He used to, to hit though. Oh, didn't hit. Oh, it did break him though. Just as you said. Yes. And we've blocked him off from all the crystals too, so. I guess, yeah. I was gonna time crystal, but whatever. Mm. But honestly, we don't need to. Uh, he'll just hit ATA for some damage and then we kill him. But then that lets ATA proc your personal later, so you oh, know. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's definitely a good use of ATA's turn. Mm -hmm. you know. Understood. Go. Instead of Speed Taker, we just get plus two strength for a turn. Much better. That's right. Or instead of Astro Storm or, you know, any of these really good things. Understood. Marin's still good. Uh, so what the sure heck? The job done. Yep. Unit's good. <laughs> Unit's well, these good. guys are good as heck. What on earth? Emblem Engage. <laughs> a battle fit for Brody. Yeah, I think um, I've, I think I've been a little behind on Paralogs, basically. Like, they, these unlocked like, a while ago, and I think I'm gonna catch up on them a little bit just to get a little bit more challenge out of them. Because right now, this is not super hard. It's still fun because I do have to like I can't just do anything I want to get the dubs, but I do have a lot of tools to work with. Okay, so yeah. now this guy will just do nothing spectacular. All right, put the fog machine on, Zelkov. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Um, I, I do think one of the things you could do to make the game like more challenging kind of intentionally is to just do the paralogs the moment that you yeah, unlock them. Definitely. No mistakes. Fog machine. Now we need some dubstep. Have any of those <laughs> in that game or no? I right. can fight. If any earlier anywhere, it's probably here, so let's do that. It'd be so weird not having Dance of the Goddess. I've gotten, I've gotten way too accustomed to having it. What, what the heck? Oh, is that really who you want to target here? Okay. Understandable. Yeah, they had to pick a three houses map where you didn't have Dance of the Goddess. Oh, wow. The they have, have like a bunch of HP. Hit points. Wow. Wow. They do not care. Holy smokes. Well, I guess they didn't see they... Zelkov because of the smoke, but that... 
<laughs> okay, guys. Yeah, they will not be swayed Look, by I'm right such here. trivial. Uh, speaking of trivial. Oh. Ivy moment? I guess what also forged. makes a difference is I have been like cooking a bit more deliberately lately to get better stat boosts. That also changes up things quite a bit, of course. Have you figured out anything about how that cook works, by the way, or no? Like, as far as I can tell, the only thing that matters is who's cooking. Uh, I mean, if they have a meal that they are good at making, they get like you'll have a better chance of getting better stat boosts, right? As far as I know, that's that's as far as I can tell. It's yeah. even obvious thing to me, so I'm assuming already already knew that. Yeah, but like I started trying out. Like, oh, this is a dish that both people hate, but I'm going to do it anyway, and I got, like, plus two all stats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's... I mean, sometimes you get, like, if they do hate it, you get, like, minus stats, but it might not be guaranteed. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's what's uh, what's going on there. Uh, yeah, I guess this is my strongest weapon, and I'm, like, it's not going to... I kind of want to do a fog machine. I guess... No, these guys can't reach, I'm pretty sure. Just the amount here. Smack them with your silver sword. Yeah, I think Zalkov just can't be enemy facing people this turn anyway, right? So he just has to turn off the whole fog machine plan. I guess so. I was hoping to like fog and bait one of the monsters, but I guess it's just being greedy. Um, mm. Who this? Oh, is this a knife, dude? It's a it's thief. Other dude. Well, he only has one range. I don't really care too much, but I guess it's nice to get him out of the way. We also want Marin as close to that monster's I guess. Are we baiting the monster's turn? I guess we're not baiting the monster's turn. Nah, we can bait the monster's turn. Like, Zalkov lives, right? 33 attack, Lamal. 33? Yeah. Get out of here. He needs fog anyway. Zelkov after taking this hit actually does. Yeah, I'm actually not sure if he did. I, I didn't factor in that hit at all. <laughs> so I probably mm -hmm. should have. In fact, I should have put uh, Leader next to him first to take like 1 HP off of the damage I could he could have done. 33 mm -hmm. is still not enough to kill him, so he should be fine here. 33 penetrating attack or no? It like, doesn't it ignore? Uh, oh, is this the one that ignores? I guess it is, right? 33 All monsters. And 28 oh, ignores. Never, they both ignore. You're right, you're right. You're, you're right, it's 28. Oh, wait, what? Really? I, I totally forgot. <laughs> you, you're correct, he lives. Oh, because the four range one is weaker, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I did not factor that in at all, I just got lucky here. <laughs> yeah, no. I'm assuming that the. Does the Alir minus one damage work here? It does work there. Okay. Here and then, I suppose we could take his speed. We also take his speed. Take your speed. Yeah, he's gonna go for a crystal anyway. Like I don't care. Give me more warrior Etier. Oh my goodness, she's so strong. Uh, let's see, Louisa's Canter. There's no great way to get all these guys back here, I'm pretty sure, like, fast. Like, they're going to be stuck in this corner a little bit. Well, Louis can get out pretty easily, right? So Yeah, next turn, at the very least. Right. Well, or this turn, too. Well, well he still has to attack. There is well, nothing to fear. I guess Chloe could have done that, but... Yeah, but then Chloe's stuck here. Like, one of the two is going to be stuck here. It's kind of what I meant. Ah, fair. But what I can do is get Chloe back oh. involved, at least. And then next turn, Louise has like his million move to get somewhere. And uh, Chloe's the one with the twin strike, so it's probably nice to have her for these massive defense merms. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess I'll throw I was going to say, try, try and Astral Storm Merglis at him or no. <laughs> That's possible. Although, I mean, Merglis is effective, right? Isn't it? So Yeah, it yeah. Okay, you'll, let's try you'll, it. Be, you'll be pretty shocked at the damage, I think. Okay. In a good way. There he is. Not quite. The hit rate is so garbo in the mile. Ow. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. Might be. I know. I, I didn't mean it. We're just talking shit. I didn't mean it. Dude, leave my crystals alone. Let me play gotcha in peace. Hello? Okay. This guy moved in a funny way that lets me just hit him without the other guy being able to attack me. Uh, unfortunately, I am nowhere near. This is why we check how dual assist works again. It's only 35, I think, while I have... The normal version. I need to like upper bond to get dual assist plus, I think, because that way I can get the better proc rate. Yeah, the seventy percent is quite significantly higher. Quite a lot. Yeah. So I am but a pawn. It's like if I don't heal him, then he can't really, reasonably speaking, the do this. Uh, I think yeah. Ivy also tanks. I want you to do something exactly. needs to be done. 
Okay, that's actually not terrible. She lives after all. Uh, we do that. If you need to, could you like twin strike or astro storm it? I mean, we do have both of those arts, right? Yeah, we do have twin strike here. It's oh, it's just not close enough. I'm like one away from being able to twin strike this one, so I have to like mm -hmm. dance. I guess I can dance and astro storm here. Let me check what this does. Astro storm, Mulajir. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> He's also here. Gosh. That is some damage as well. How much is this to beat? <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's his momentum doing a massive amount of work, I guess. Yeah, the momentum is doing the plus 10 on the first hit. Okay. I think we got the monster sorted then. Yeah, I think so too. I'm just um, trying to think if there's anything else. I, I want to hit them with like the, the long range stuff first, because then they can't mm -hmm. counter and I can finish up with something. Uh, do you, he can only hit this one, so I should probably use him for this. I think I should engage and like use a. Oh, yeah, I'm already engaged. I need to use my third sword, basically. But I guess I don't override. Want, I could, yeah, I could override. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, override Brave Lance. This doesn't really work, does it? Nah. Yeah. It's not like the highest might you can get. Yeah, so the thing is like trying to find a way to not get countered here, basically. But I think I should just let that go of that idea, because I can do like... Sure, I can do 21 max here, probably. Followed by a danced twin strike from Chloe, maybe, or...? Yeah, I suppose that would be one way to do it. Um... She doesn't have any kind of magic weapon for taking out that guy, right? No, no you need a flame lance. She probably should have one, because her magic is not terrible. But it's, it's not happening, I think. Um, I feel like the the just taking damage and then letting her let him get healed by Chloe is better than the Preserves Chloe's engage. Like another like, alternative could be dancing Eti like having Etia go right Astro Storm, then dancing her, and then having her just Mulligear the guy. Oh Although, yeah, that's a good idea as well. That would involve also more, more speed taker. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's too. Yeah. Okay, let me try that. I do like that idea. Um, no Mulligear. I can never get used to the. I think I think every other Fire Emblem game lets the cursor go over like illegal weapons in that menu, right? <laughs> Weakest ATA attack. Uh, you can probably even longbow and then Luis finishes. Oh, give... oh, never mind. It doesn't. Uh, you still get countered. I keep thinking dragons have two range, but they they do not. In fact. Uh, I'll just, it's fine. I just want to, I just want to do the very fancy thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. We'll get a crit, trust. Oh, probably. It is Louise. <laughs> oh, oh. Your goodbye. No? Okay. I guess he's doubling, right? Yeah. Okay, goodbye. No. You got multiple criticals. He flew no over us. there. He was ready for battle. Well done. Uh, I suppose that uh, we don't need to dance her after all. I mean, we did, we did, but we can instead do something like kill this guy for more speed taker while we heal Louise, and then that'll be all for this side. Staffarino, Mandarino. Good job, Louise. You killed two dragons with ATA. Nice. With ATA, so. Well, I, he did actually kill that one all, all on his own, right? Yeah, so. he, he crit quite a bit. Right. Still counts. Still counts. That takes skill, literally. <laughs> A good wind. All right. She's also engaged for an extra turn because of the the that skill that does that. I forgot what it's called. Uh, the super... thing you get from the paralog. Yeah, basically one of the higher bond level skills. Mm -hmm. uh, still, little guy doesn't have range, so I think Marin has a free dub here. Yep. Just jump on him. Yeah. Hobble him a little bit. Good night. Dexterity. Finally, dexterity. A range of one bow. We can bait the other one with Diamond. I'm using the hand axe. I think he also has a really high engage level, so he's gonna engage him as well. Because he's got four turns of engage. That's enough to do whatever we want to do here. Yeah, should be plenty. 
Like, just like in the original map, I'm assuming you can't get... Yeah, you have to fly over this part here. So we have to walk on the side anyway, so go a leer. I might find just a turn to do something here. My prediction is that Balas is probably going to break this down and rush me north or something when I get too close, but we'll see if he actually ends up doing that. Um, you're hurt, right? So use a bone and then deal with Ivy as well. Get all ready for this. Nope. Well, I guess I don't have a normal staff. Here we go. Do this instead. Long steps. The one range physic. The embarrassing physic. The GBA special. <laughs> I just want the staff XP. Dot staff. I was thinking that that's the enemy troubadour <laughs> running up to melee. Yeah. That's just how his AI is programmed. He doesn't have a choice. He doesn't know any other way. No. And that's no. I'm angry. I will not lose. I will not lose. Dude, Demon's so cool. Not as cool as Marin though. Marin says she's cool, so she has to be cool. There's no yeah, other, that's no other interpretation. Character. That's. I'm, I'm glad we're on the same page, Mecca. Does that thing he has work? Lend Let me, me see what this strength. looks like. <laughs> Brown hair? Oh, I can't see it yet. Oh, he only has the eleven sword. Well, that's not gonna work very well here, is it? Okay, yeah. yeah no. his, his thing is an adjacent attack. Never Your mind. Orders? He does double at least, but you know. Yeah. Yay. Um, so called murder. Oh, uh, they have three range. That's right. So there's no way to avoid the counter, barring alacrity or something. Mm -hmm. One is kill with diamond, maybe. Smack it. You'll get no sympathy from me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the quote. Wait. The quote. I have an idea that involves a leer actually helping out. Yeah. Okay. That never mind. Oh. I need the leer. I'm too cool to help with the leer. No. Oh. It's dead. You can have like a really heavy knife. Yeah. But now I can just do boring things with a leer like this. Here you go. Use this up, please. Just move first. Go like here, I guess. Dagger. Stabbing. That was cool, was it not? Yes. I agree with everything Marin says. Always. Oh come on, get some strength, Marin. Please. Come on. <laughs> I think her magic and strength growth is identical. Maybe not in Wolf Knight. I don't really oh. know. People use her as magic then. Uh, I did just give her 11 sword for all game oh, and like smart. occasionally whipped it out, but. Hmm. Hold up. Okay, yeah, that actually is pretty close. You're right. Maybe that is better than the slim sword and the iron blade I never use. But, you know, it could go either way, I guess. Yeah. So, okay. yeah, for a while I gave her a steel blade and just never used it. <laughs> hmm, if I dance, hmm. I can kill a couple here. If you like get in range of the first mage, then you can guarantee you counter all three on enemy phase, right? But like if you're in range of the second mage, then yeah, uh, these guys only have silver bows. Thirty-two attack is quite a bit. In fact, thirty-two is a two kill on this ATA right now with the attack Ooh. they got. So we have to be a little bit more subtle than the Mao put ATA in range of enemies. It could like What's their... chain guard, I guess. What's their hit? Uh, one thirty-seven. So, about mm, 50 yeah, that's not very good. Uh, Wait, we could proc it the ETA personal. Oh, proc the ETA we'll personal her... while using a Valm and then the the one HP while also. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold up. I'm, I'm pretty sure the strike is completely irrelevant here, but it would technically be proccing ETA personal. Yes, true, 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 true. All right, I'm, I'm down. Uh, if we put her here, she's only in range of the snipers. So, we can just go here. Uh, the Mulligan is actually stronger than the Silver Bow, so there's no reason not to use it. Uh, I'd have to use, yeah. do some Elixir Golf here, I guess. Unless I have a Vuln around here, which I do. Okay, whatever you do, don't heal her. Switch them up for a minute. She's ready to engage. You can go here. Um, you want your Vuln? Yay! Yeah! Energized! Energized! Plus two straight, and it matters! Well, well uh, matters. It, it, it's it's she, on screen. <laughs> it's she, on screen she, somewhere. Well, I guess they're going for Louis now. But. Oh, what? Oh, they are. You're right. No, no, no. We can't oh. have that. We can't have that. One of them is. Yeah, Tom Crystal. Get out of here. Show Byleth how it's done. He's never seen this trick before. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely has never seen it. people put each other in range of something. And they just undo it. Yeah. All right, bring it, Arthur. Here it goes. Yeah, dude, think about if she was only doing 33 damage here. 
Yeah, that would be disastrous. Never would have, never would have recovered. I can't even use weapon rank grinding as an excuse because that doesn't work in this game. Oh, we dodge anyway. A good wind. <laughs> okay, Lin. Okay, come here. Yep, easy one kills. There's no way they don't get one kill by ATA. Uh, these are sages. Easy peasy. Why are you guys not doing anything? Like, oh, what? No, no, no. I don't do that. Oh, and, and Byleth's little camp oh. here. Who are who are these guys? Who are these guys? Oh, um, who are these guys? Ah, no, I don't remember a Wyvern Rider enemy in this map. Like, in the Fates map, at least, it was like, okay, this is Ryoma, this is Xander, etc., etc. I don't mm -hmm. remember. I think this is just, like, supposed to be the generic, generic that are next to uh, the Flame Emperor here, right? Like, I, I guess you could think that the general is, like, the Flame Emperor, but that's all I can think of come up with. Is it mm. supposed to be like Claude, Dimitri, and Edelgard like that? There you go. You figured it out. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's Claude, Dimitri, Edelgard. I, see. I I had such a hard time. I saw the halberdier. I'm like, who's this? Like Ferdinand? And I was like, dude, it's the house leaders. <laughs> but like, Claude doesn't use swords, generally speaking. I mean, there's also no bow wyvern. He does have sword boon. Yeah, I. It's kind of there, I guess. I don't know. It kind of. I guess. I just I guess. It took me ages to figure it out because I'm like, in my mind. They're never on the same team, right? So, <laughs> like, why would they be on the same team? <laughs> Fair enough. Um, if ATA handles this side by herself... It's just a scratch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he just goes here and bows this guy down with a 1 of kill. Then does it again with a dance. We could have Chloe bait the Wyvern over with her silver equips. That'd be pretty okay. I don't know if she can handle a Wyvern on her own, but, like, come on, she's not... She's not helping us, right? She has this Quinn Strike, worst case scenario. 35 attack on any phase. Uh, she's not doing a whole lot, but with the help of ATA next turn, it should be good enough. Let's go like here. Chill out here with your thing. ATA. Uh, I want to dance as close as possible with thingy. This is still a one KO. Okay, so how about we go here? Longbow to far one. I need to get stronger until no one can beat me. Alright. Uh you don't have cancer, but that's okay. So we can do this, dance. And then we can go from here. And I have her close to the wyvern next turn. A good wind. Uh it's just gonna like level cap in this rate. <laughs> We're gonna loop her like five times. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. I need to get to looping. Uh, let's get you the engage pool, the emblem pool. Back to full. Back to full. It's not really a tragedy if he's out of position with that because he gets like an extra seven squares uh -huh. <laughs> when he engages, right? I'm gonna assume that all these guys are gonna move towards me uh, once I bait this wyvern. So mm -hmm. we can get Edelgard here. Just overlap with the wyvern, but there's not gonna be two squares to attack me. So if I put maybe Diamond there. Somehow, with like a repo, mm -hmm. uh, we can fight the armor with his. I think he has a hammer, for example, or the armor slayer. Armor slayer is probably better against Edelgard. Uh, so that would be repo. Let's see if that works. Uh, what's pilot's range? I'm in there. Okay, yeah, I'm still not moving. Okay. All right, bring it, Edelgard. Uh, sure, this could go like a little bit wrong, but it's fine. Uh, yeah, I the guess... hammer would just get broken anyway, right? You could great ether even, right? Yeah, I could armor slayer great ether. Although, if I go closer, then Dimitri will break me. I mean, if you're great ether, then the break doesn't matter anyway, right? Because you don't counter. Yeah, true. Right, I just want to have the armor slayer equipped to, like, want to kill the armor knight on my turn. Like, when I when I actually end up great ether, right? That's the idea. Mm -hmm. so I yeah, guess I or wanna... the... If you, if you do that, you might as well do the hammer. Like, get the highest might you can. Sure. I don't see a argument against that. It, yeah, it always hits. It does like kind of completely negate the whole point of moving people in this position to take care of the wyvern next turn. But that's okay. Yeah. Basically shuts down half my team, in a way. I mean Emblem, I think it'd be worse if that half had it didn't have ETA, right? But Mm-hmm. Alright. Uh, go here. Apparently, Bonded Shield is like the first attack of multiple enemies. I thought it was, it was just one attack. Oh, what? Oh. Yep. Oh. Oh, yeah, oh. he doesn't know, chat. <laughs> no, what? He didn't check. I did not check. <laughs> I did not check, in fact. Enemies oh, what? Do use what are we doing? 
Oh no. Oh god. The, the game knows. Oh, well, that's not the oh, phrase user. They, they don't know, actually. <laughs> there was an attempt. <laughs> nice one, Myla. That was interesting. I did not expect him to warp two people to that spot, for sure. Well, Only for them to not make their attack. Yeah. I guess maybe Chloe was like super killing them or something? Or I, I, <laughs> No way, right? Well, no way. Well, I, I guess we could spare them and just gank by them now. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess Claude can come back and intervene, but other than that, they're all out of position now. <laughs> Evacuate the bodyguards, yeah. I mean, do you like kill them for the one K or something? Or oh wait, did they drop money? Oh, they're because they're house leaders, of course. They gotta have some money for me. I mean, I do want gold. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, these don't drop anything. I mean, Bylet's gonna be a bit of a pain to fight anyway. He's already moving. I think I'll. I'll... It's it's a short kind of show, right? So we can we can afford to fight some house leaders here. Uh, mm -hmm. But hit him with a twin strike, yeah. Yeah, if, but that means I am out of position <laughs> to fight them. And the thing about the twin strike is, sure, I'll kill Dimitri's one health bar, and then what, right? Oh, uh, override. They're like there are things, there are things you can do. Uh, yeah, I guess override both of them. I could quadruple hit. Oh no. Oh gosh, how much do you think this is gonna do to Ilgard? To Edo guard, I think Emblem less engaged. than eleven sword and buy a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, it needs to be close range. I keep thinking because it's like has a bow involved, it can do. Yeah, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Alir. <laughs> yeah, nice job, my guy. He can't reach anything else either. Like this is it. It's either Edo guard or nothing. Honestly, he might as well quadruple hit just to be like providing personal to like Ivy as she attacks Edo guard as well, right? Yeah, well, that means we have to like get a mass murder in because otherwise Alir is freaking dead. Hmm. Could it be done? I mean, I mean, we don't with have... the Etia dance maybe. Etia dance probably gets one health bar off of Claude. Like, okay, so I think Alir can probably survive one of them. Like, mm -hmm. Edelgard only a sixty-three attack with the silver great axe. I think that's livable with this, right? Yeah, that's livable for him. So if we have to, if you kill Dimitri and Claude. That would be okay. Another thing we do actually have is uh, reposition Zelkov in order to freeze them. Although if we do that, then we actually can't really do a whole lot with Alir unless we kill Edelgard. I was thinking of like engage Zelkov so that he has dreadful aura and is freezing them. But well, he can attack from two range, right from here, and that freezes yeah. these two, and that leaves Claude. And so if we kill Claude, then Alir can stand wherever he wants as long as he's like not getting murdered by. Uh, mm -hmm. Edelgard. So we could do that. The thing is, yeah, Alir's only attacking square is also Zelkov's only attacking square. Although I guess if Zelkov's oh, about to attack no, from Edelgard. He, he has to go next to Edelgard, right? Whereas Zelkov can do it from here. He oh, true. Throw a knife at Edelgard there. Yeah. Does Alir survive that 63? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Okay. Um, fact. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess if you wanted to use the 11 sword, then yeah, you would have to go from the square where Zelkov was. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yo, quad quadruple hit, show it off. <laughs> No, we gotta get we gotta get a kill with a quadruple hit. That's the challenge of the, <laughs> the, challenge of of the episode, right? Well, get I mean, a... that's fairly simple. I knew we need when you turn, we need to turn. Yeah. Um... yeah. These two are not doing anything this turn. Like, actually, he has repo too, because he's with Ike. Oh, does he? So he can repo, oh, he, he can does. Re he can repo uh, Zelkov, so we can use Ivy to hit Edelgard or uh, repo Marin to get closer. There you go. Well, well, now I gotta up the challenge. Then it can't just be a health bar; it has to be a kill kill. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. oh, no, of course, of course. Now we can definitely uh, do something funky here. Uh, I'll probably do. Let's see, if we're doing override, we have to engage here. Won't you join me? Override. Now, he's gonna end up next to Edelgard on the right, but that's not a problem. I'm assuming. Yeah, no. Uh, Storm is holding Do it from the right for even more damage with momentum, or no? Oh, yeah, that's probably better even, because no one else needs that square anyway. Yeah, okay, let's go. Yeah. Uh, right space strongest. Uh, that's kind of cringe, what the heck? Well, I mean, it's it, it was going to be less than that anyway, right? Yeah. Like, you could check the damage on Dimitri. It just looks worse now, because the forecast is only for the first enemy. Yeah. Yes. And, uh... It's fine. Good champ. Oh, maybe we should have done Zelkov first instead of this to get the poison in as well. Oh, true. Yeah, no, you're totally right. Oh, yeah, we should have done that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix that yeah. actually. Like we have plenty of these. 
We should do... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cool. yeah. Oh, actually, we couldn't do it because we need to reposition, right? Um... I, I think the sequencing actually was over red first. Well, if we just move a layer out of the way and put mm. it like here, and I got an 11 sword to the tree or something. 11 sword, yeah. I, yeah, you're totally right, actually. This is fine. Be real, what else was he doing? It's a leer. <laughs> He's never doing anything. And then we repo Zelkov or Marin. Both work, I think. Um, but Zelkov, I think, has bigger debuffs because he has Draconic Hex. Yeah. Uh, oh, we do need to engage, engage here, right yeah. Emblem engage. Engage all over them. And I remember that part of the movie. <laughs> so we do that. Uh, or. Torrential War. Torrential War? No, because it gets in the way of uh, Override, right? The Override, yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure the Double Knife just does more damage anyway, right? So. <laughs> I think so. Alright. Take an Guard. Oh, that, those sound like Fino uh, cries for sure. Iconic X. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Lady General. Lady. Oh, that lowers her defense. Quadruple hit incoming. Oh, yeah. Next turn. 29 defense, yeah. You already know it's coming. That's the difference maker right uh -huh. there. Okay, and now we can use Ivy. Oh, Mar Ivy can't get Marin closer, can she? Yeah, Marin is like in the like re reposition doesn't matter corner, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, in that case, I'll just move her up. Because this will activate dual assists, right, as an option? Believe so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. As a I probably done that chance to proc. Too. Yeah. Ah, whatever. Yeah, it's fine. Um, Louise. Emblem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know. No, 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 yeah, no, no, yeah. No, no, do no, we no. actually do we take out a health bar with Ivy real quick or no? Uh, I guess I think she was close to doing it straight up. So oh, yeah. wait, doesn't something need to be done about Claude this turn? Like if we have, yeah, we can have ATA dance and then I guess oh, I guess that's a good point. We can't have like something. Something really needs to be done about Claude. Yeah, well, these two are kind of done for this turn, so I suppose what we can do is uh, focus on Claude now. Mm -hmm. um, ATA plus Dance is like a guaranteed health bar gone from Claude. Like, he has can no, Twin no Strike shot. do anything or no? Who? Twin, Twin strike. strike. Yeah, I think uh, yeah. that will be the next most damaging move we have. We might have to have Louise do something else, but I guess we could save the override for the next turn up in that case. Uh, well, this is mm. okay, I guess. Uh, oh, I think our F frame breaks them. <laughs> Yeah, it's like 30, and then uh, Louise, Sigurd, uh, come on, there you go, Brave Lance? There you go. Just, just Brave Lance does a lot, right? Yeah, that's Should like do. 28. So that combined takes out one of them, and then the other half can be combined, take out by ATA. Cool. That should do it, right? Yeah, let's secure it though, because I think there were some like shaky hit rates in there, mm -hmm. especially with the Brave Lens. Yeah, I guess I guess we can try that first, and if it if it goes wrong, we can fix it. Uh, let's stay at a range of Byleth, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, the one who overrides, so I guess you should go first here, so that you can next turn can go like override someone. So Brave Lens. Brave Lens. One, more. two. I think he hit both. Yes. Okay. Good on. And I guess we can move back so we have more momentum next turn. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and then Chloe does the other half. Chloe will be stuck here. But she does survive Dimitri. Yes, every time. Everton. So mm -hmm. we can Silver Lance. I don't think Javelin kills. Check real quick. No, it does not kill. So it's going to have to be Silver. Or Dual Strike. Oh yeah, I guess strike whatever. Strike it, but like, I would just strike here, right? You were beautiful while you lasted. Wait, did he has have, a full did he have animation and a hundred hit. Did, wait, did quad? I think he does. Nah. All right. No, I guess not. Oh, why did I? Didn't he attack me? I saw a miss somewhere. Maybe that was. Nah, he was uh, broken. Marin. Oh yeah, Marin's dual assist. That was a miss. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Okay, so we go over here with ATA. I guess we can call the doubles. I guess it also well, would be a do... good way to distract him. Uh, we if can you call just... the doubles, he can't dance, so... Oh yeah, so like call the doubles here to make Byleth like... Oh wait, you can't dance? What do you mean? I can dance from here and then... Well, no, because all of the squares oh. around here will be occupied. You're right. You're right. So, if only I had... It's the, 
It's the uh, classic call doubles problem. Yeah. Okay. In that case, I'll just foam <laughs> and get my personal again. Yo, happened again. <laughs> Twice in one map, Mecca. You're treating us. Everton. Okay, we can go here. And yeah, there's nothing fancy to be done about the others. I'll just uh, plot some overkill here. Oh boy. Uh, will there be for even more? Yeah. Yeah. One eighteen damage. And then we miss both and look really embarrassed. I need to get stronger until no one can beat me. I think, you're, I think we're I think we're at those goals right now. Okay, and then we can uh, just gnaw off a health bar from Edelgard, I guess. We're at the point of the map where it's like it's not how do we kill this guy, it's which animation do we want to watch while we kill <laughs> yeah. this guy, right? So. <laughs> One princess to the next. Okay, Elier, you can do this, I swear. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. How will we ever recover? Yeah. Oh, they could, they could warp the house. What What if they warp the house leader? Oh, what? Oh, no. <laughs> Enemy phase kill. How about that? Dream well. Get wrecked, Edelgard. Well, it, was, it wasn't quadruple hit, so it doesn't count. But yeah, no, I get wrecked. I mean, Dimitri's still here. Oh, hello. That's, yeah, something tells me a quadruple hit might kill this chi adapt. Who knows? <laughs> Oh boy. Wow. Come on. I guess shielding art is still. Okay, so we do have two flyers here that Okay, what if he what if he warps Byleth over? I think we call the doubles now if we can. Can we still do that? No, we can't. Unless we dance, like full dance. Does that work? I think that could work, right? Yeah, it could do. She could even like get that pool next to Dimitri while still like attacking him with an axe. Like that's still a useful thing to do with her turn, right? Sure. And it also gets her. Uh, he didn't. Uh, he, he yeah, he did for that. Okay, let's get rid of him. I'm gonna try and see if I can murder that. Uh, if I can murder Dimitri with the uh, like hit. Oh boy, yeah. This is the last. It's the last chance I have. Other than Violet himself. A real challenge. Oh, there you go. I need to get the hang of this, so that's why I'm like repeatedly doing that that way and like undoing my old things. Okay, so we only need like 30 damage as an easy to remember number. Zelkov maybe? Uh, that's probably a safe bet. Zelkov also like shreds the defense too because of Draconic Hex, so. Yeah, that'll make it really easy. Um, I would love to put up terrain with Zelkov, so if I can find someone else, I would love that. Mm -hmm. Just to like, because I can like put a bunch of terrain here, right? And then. It will just be super safe for people to bear, or like a little safe. Maybe Baron is better. Uh, okay, just just don't crit, I guess. That'll do. Yeah, just don't crit. Hubble, hubble. There we go. We finally, we finally got it, guys. We've done it. And I think the poison is even more too. So mm -hmm. now it's like 21 damage. Okay, I'm gonna have you do it from north to put him away from the Pegasus Knights. So that makes sense to go. This guy's got to go. Alright. Finally. Quadruple hit. Quadruple hit. Hey, was it worth it? Totally not. It's a good night. Yes. I know some people have like not been very pleased with quad hit, but I think it's just if you put on a weak unit, it'll do not very much damage. <laughs> oh! Plus strength. There you go. We only needed to be level 12 promoted. <laughs> That's his master high promotion, but in a level up instead. Okay, so I guess now what we want to do is give Byleth a target so that he doesn't get warped, maybe? I'm not sure how that's going to work. Hmm. Um, if I, I could Astral Storm the warp person with ATA, right? That, that could work, yeah, and then we kind of like know where everyone's makes, going, right? Yeah, it makes everything more, a lot more predictable. I think I'm going to go with that. Uh, Seedal, I think this is probably a good spot for him. And just stay out of range of the Pegasus Knights, and then if we kill the, yeah, kill the kid after him, we're fine. Here, so let's engage here. Let's run. Astral Stormo. Yes, you have warp, the last warp. Plenty. <laughs> It's very fitting for Bai has to be the one trying to warp skip us. Yeah. <laughs> Warping Edelgard over. He's just doing the meta strats. Okay. 
Perfect. And now we can set up a predictable enemy phase here. Marin's already got this Pegasus Knight covered. Uh, so we just need to get the other one with, I guess, Louise or something, just to weaken them. We already know, like, ATA, like, one on them anyway, but it doesn't matter too yeah. much. This is just a clever excuse to get Louis more, what is it, momentum damage, right? So Yeah, that too. <laughs> totally. <laughs> all right. That's all great. And then... Someone eat the counterattack from Byleth, because currently it's Diamond. Yeah. And then rather nicely, too, actually. This is kind of advantageous. Uh, well, I mean... I mean, he can't, like, like really counter in any productive way, because if you use the hand axe, he just gets broken instead. But I have an what about Ivy? I have a feeling that Ivy gets wrecked, but let's find out. A whole <laughs> a little bit, just a little bit. Don't a little bit, yeah. This. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, well, maybe this is gonna Zelkov. be Zelkov's job then. Oh, the Zelkov fog machine? Yes. Yeah, fog machine could work. Uh, would he apply his little things on any phase? He would apply the Draconic hex at the very least, right? So that'd be good. The now Draconic hexes initiate only, but he would apply poison. Okay, that'd be good. Uh, I'll just keep the amount here because then he'll be in a spot where he can provide uh, chain attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, so Zelkov here. I guess we could turn on the fog machine, but it also give him terrain, right? So that might be great. It wouldn't give Byleth terrain because Byleth would attack at two range. Uh, true. Sure. Gaming. Quality time. <laughs> sure thing. Yeah, looks good. I'll just keep Ivy here for uh, utility purposes. I, I guess I can physics Zelk off, but I don't think he needs it. Let's get it. Oh, here goes another. Oh, he just, didn't even try. He's like, nah, zero hit. I can't be bothered. I'm, I'm assuming yeah, I that's can't do it. That. Wow. No, he had 28. Wow. Okay, Bada. You, you don't but have. This guy's kind of good. Like he's got tons of crit on everyone. What the heck? Well, Bada. Yeah. Yeah. If I had a, uh, I think, Erica provides dodge, so I could use that to my advantage. But it would take a dance to get her in range. Yeah, because it provides dodge. Uh, I don't know if we like went over which skills you have to inherit or which ones you don't have to inherit. But dodge is one of those that you only get if you inherit. So. Oh, rip. Uh, I guess he also didn't want to stand in range of my uh, my chain attacks. That's gonna be a lot to get to chew down three health bars with most when he's not in range. Maybe just kill a Pegasus and let him come in for another turn. Like this time with no fog machine on, so he's like more tempted to go for it. Hmm. I think so. Yeah, just kind of like. Just mulligan the turn. Maybe. Ah, oh, he's so close. Maybe a repo. What if we just, like, don't, like, kill the Eastern Pegasus? Don't care anything about the Western Pegasus. And I know they're Griffins, guys, but oh no. <laughs> yeah, they look like Pegasus um, to me. Uh, I really want to get my momentum into the very least, but, like, how? Um, or, like, my override or whatever, because he still has that. Hmm. And like it's it's not a terrible position to attack from as long as he doesn't counter attack my units that die in one round. Like, everyone is so close but not quite there. It's quite saddening. Uh, I reckon that yeah, I have alacrity with ATA and 44 attack. Uh, I think she one rounds. Surprising, surprisingly, ATA one rounds. ATA one rounds. Say it ain't so. I've never seen that before. But she's like the only one I think that can do it. Everyone mm. else is uh, doing like half his HP, and he, we need to kill three health bars. So. Wait, you can get over here? No, this is just second range, I think. How does it work? Yeah, I think it like kind of stinks, but maybe just let him move one square up, or let him move one turn upwards just so that we like have extra firepower to attack him with is still the best play. Like, yeah, we lose out on the momentum, but we gain like five more characters to be able to attack on so i think that will have to be it uh i'll leave out the fog machine this time see if he wants to go for an attack now because of it mm -hmm. just go here with zelkov pick up some bond fragments uh, once again get my uh, chain attacks in order and i guess that i might as well get our funny momentum in here for this guy If I if I end my turn with him on an engaged tile, I don't actually get full engaged next turn, right? Uh, yeah, no, you need to like not be engaged while ending your turn, or like using wait command specifically on an engaged tile. Saddest of things. Uh, I guess she can get a pool, but then she's far away. I don't think it's worth getting a pool with uh, with yeah. Marin. But yeah, with Marin, what's she gonna do? All for one? Like, come on. <laughs> 
I mean, that if I look at the units that are going to be nearby, it'll be quite a lot of units that I'll be able to, that I'll be able to offer one with. Right, because like everyone's going to be packed here. Yeah, but also like just having her in position to like attack in general is still like just as good, right? So you're no fun, but you are right. <laughs> hey, hey! I, I encourage you to get the quad hit. Was it not? You you were the one who didn't twin strike earlier. You could have got one of those. <laughs> you're not wrong. We'll call it a draw today, all right? We'll call it a draw. All right, where does he go? Okay, Finally. he does. Don't crit me. Thank you. Alright, I hope you're ready to eat like 5,000 poisonous knives wide up because I've been waiting. Oh no, the crystals! Anyway. No! They're going to go for them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now we send them packing. Uh, Marion probably first to get all the poison strikes in. Oh yeah. There's uh, not many people can attack from here, so it's probably a fine place to start out. Mm -hmm. Should I be also just like. Heals Alcov in order to like let him apply to Chronic Hex or actually I think we just got it to be honest. Not look at I it. think we have enough, generally speaking. Um, but Zelkov would probably be a good person this to attack with next if you want to. Yeah, if he ever lives, but Yeah, he, he will have to be healed, of course, but that's fine. Uh, we can apply a break as well, and that way we don't have to heal. Oh, even better, yeah. because uh, this will do like quite a bit, and then we can have Zelkov get his free hit in. Mm -hmm. Please hit though. Yeah, thank you. Although the poison is probably going to be maxed out now, right? Because we got him once on enemy phase and twice with uh, Marin now. Ooh, yeah, but he still applies a Draconic Hex, so. Uh, yeah, oh, right. Yeah, that's what. That's the whole reason we're doing this in the first place. All right, go get him, Zelkov. Get in there. Pretty much perfect. I'll help. No, it's over. <laughs> it's over. Now we chill with our favorite unit. All right, Fire. No more gemstones left. You didn't protect your own crystals, my friend. Alright, do we just do this? This is is this getting old yet? Just let me know if this is getting old. I don't think it's getting <laughs> old. What, killing bosses with the FTA? Yeah. We gotta find like a really embarrassing weapon to do it with. Do we have like a like a mini bow in convoy or something? <laughs> or? How about this? Hand axe him. <laughs> That's kinda cringe. Well, do, do it because he has the 1% crit on the counter, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> I. All my weapons are good. I don't have an embarrassing one. Let me let me check the convoy and see if anything dumb. I have like a like a compact axe, a mini bow, a radium bow. <laughs> use, your, use your magic instead. It's not yeah, use kill. that. Let's do that. Use your magic. So it is. I'll get. Uh, okay, I guess I have to get some roll, roll with this. I was gonna get multiple weapons, but I can't. So let me take away your personal real quick. All right, does it work? Yeah, technically, yeah. Not even close. Okay, technically, yeah. Technically, yeah. It's, it's way less than I thought. Oh, my units are too powerful. Uh, no twin strike maybe doesn't kill? Yeah, that's what, that's what we're going to try next. Emblem, engage! Mm. Oh, come on. Kills. It's really close, you, but it does You kill. know what's ruining it is the Draconic Hex. Yeah, <laughs> Delcov, why? Oh, this is so close to working too. She doesn't uh, double with Javelin, does she? Wait, wait this is the wait, 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 hold on. No, wait, he's not in range, never mind, it doesn't matter what he does. We need we need to not kill. Quick, get in there, Diamant. <laughs> to not kill. No, I'm afraid that Diamant is uh, quite operational. Even with the layer? Dude, oh my goodness, It's a one-shot. Yeah. Mm. I'm done trying to find ways to spare this guy. Just do it, ATA. It's fine. Oh gosh, he's so strong. Hand axe is funniest, I guess. Oh, Mogear it is. I get crit on the counter. Never mind. Alacrity. I guess there wouldn't have been a 1% crit because the hand axe would just kill before he would counter. They yeah, were too good. An incredible number of crystals. A talisman and an elixir. I'm pretty sure it's the max. <laughs> it's like a talisman, I guess, counts, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. I don't it hate counts. it. It's just apparently this is really hard to do on manding, and so it's not really worth. But I didn't expect the crystals to be so easy to protect. Like in normal three houses, they just steal them instantly, and yeah, they have to get to the exit. But they do it in one turn, and here it takes them like two or three attacks, <sighs> which like also stuns them basically. Let's see. Well done. 
Your fighting was magnificent. The trial is past. I learned so much battling you. Thank you. But your skills were quite strong even before we met. Still, you've taught me so many things. You're an excellent teacher, Violet. And that's kind of you to say. Though it helps that you have such raw skill already. All I need do is listen and give a little nudge to those embarking on a path. Your success here is the direct result of all the choices you've made before today. I've always understood that one choice leads to another, but I'm worried what might happen if I ever make the wrong choice. You needn't worry at all. By passing this trial, you've shown the truth of who you are, and you have your allies to set you right. Should you ever begin to stray, remember, I will always be by your side as well. To the very end. Thank you. I'll continue on my path, trusting my allies to help me along the way. You've clearly learned all you need to hear. Shall we continue on our journey? Nope, gonna do like five more paralogs. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll check out the increased options after this. That's, yeah, the new emblem options. Yeah, the bond levels 11 to 20. I think that is a good tradition to get after a paralog. Ah, yeah, that's a good skill. I like that one. Now, when he did use it, I, I was actually surprised to see him use it. Yeah. I did not expect. I mean, he didn't use warp well, but, you know, we haven't seen enemies use warp well since, what, Thracia? That's pretty impressive. And same with dance, too, right? So Yeah. That's pretty cool. I can imagine that being very annoying on Maddening. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming there's also, like, much more enemies on Maddening, so it's a little harder to clear out the whole space like I did. There are, but I think from watching someone else do the paralog, I think he just got a stance as the two, like, chi add-ups again. So. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Uh, Samuel. 520. 520. I got 100 too One, many. I literally about to make that same comment. I'm All sorry. Right. <laughs> I only have five jokes. <laughs> <laughs> and, not, and not all of them apply. I'll stop stealing them then. <laughs> As I heard just beginning to talk, I was like, no, I need to get my 420 joke in. No. I know. No. So sorry. Raise is this going to be? Okay, let's check out the abilities. All right, Bada, back here where you Violet, belong. Together. Quadruple hit experiment was not successful. Yeah. I mean, we got a kill. Uh, we had to work for it, but we did get a kill. Uh huh. Uh, like this, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, much better. Uh, scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay, so arts like Lamau, um, lost and found. <laughs> if mm -hmm. you finishes an action or waits next to an ally, may find an item and increase support with that ally. Trigger it, present as luck. Wait, seriously? I didn't even see that. <laughs> this is like a combination of all the shit that's wrong with three houses. Like between goodie basket and finding lost items, this is perfect. This is the best Come skill on. in the game. That's so funny. I'm I love get that it. actually. Uh, this seems pretty good because it's one of the few. And the weapons that has one to two range. I like this a lot. And it's good against dragons as well. This seems pretty good. And it's really light. Like the stats are just good too, right? Like 11 might, 90 hit, 10 crit. I think that, I think that's just good, right? Yeah. And it says raises damage with user's magic. So is it magic based or is it just it gets more damage if you have high magic? It might be like a like, zero point three or zero point two five times magic type thing. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know. A lot of these like I just know I just know Ilir needs all the boosts he can get. And it doesn't really yeah, matter no. which which stat it goes off of. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, okay. This is pretty nice as well on the unit that actually needs to hit things. This is probably better to be hurt than to use here. Because mm -hmm. I feel like this, this the, the ring goes best on units that are just not good at combat, but just want to dance for people. But this is not something you put in your dancer. Mm -hmm. What I could do, I could... Um, I could put... I could reclass a Leer to a more mobile class and have better dance of the goddess and rally access, maybe? Mm -hmm. Maybe put Cantor on him then? Ooh, that might actually make him more viable. Yeah, it does remove the kind of like rally spectrum that you get while being in Dragon. Although, like... Oh yeah, that's true. That would be really nice to keep. But I guess if you go Cavalry... No, you don't really get this any kind of bonus if you're Cavalry, right? If you're... Cav is like plus 10 dex. Oh, that's gross. I don't want on that. On the rally. It's not terrible. It's, it, it's... it's hit plus 20. It's the Byleth skill, man. <laughs> it's, it's the three houses skill that everyone gets. Everyone, yeah. th It's the one that Byleth teaches everyone. It makes sense. Yeah, okay. That, I'm abandoning this plan. Maybe I should have given him... Nah, I'm never getting anything in boots. Fuck that shit. I don't, I'm not giving boots to a person with 15 strength. Get out of here. Yeah. I will say, too, like, the um the level 11 skill. 
So I think I erroneously misevaluated this the first time, and I said, oh, uh, all I do with Byleth is dance with the goddess, so this is just a downside, because it makes it so that my next dance is, like, really late. But honestly, I don't actually think it's that big of a deal, frankly. Um, most of the time, if you're powering out a big turn like that, it's like you kind of use the one dance you have to create, like, enough safety on the map to last as long as you need to last. And I actually think having an extra turn of rallies or... Even just having an extra turn where, like, one turn you can rally, and then you just know whenever you need the dance, you have the dance, I think it's just stronger. So there are some people have been saying that this ability is, like, pure downside because it delays your, like, second dance or whatever, but I don't actually think it's pure downside. I, th I think th I think it's enough upside that, like, it's still worth getting this skill. It, it makes for different priorities, I think. It gives you more rally mm -hmm. time. Um, I do think... I haven't had a map where I've been able to get two dances in, to be fair, because I mm -hmm. usually I, I'm usually very conservative when I engage, and then when I use them... I try to make the most of it, and then when it's done, it's very rare I end up like re-engaging a unit. This was one of the first maps where I did it. So for me, yep. this wouldn't be great on my Byleth right now, but I'd probably be able to play around it to the point where it would be an upside. It just makes yeah, for a different the, kind of thing. One of the ways to play around it is, I think it's on like one of Salika's abilities. You, you've seen the favorite food one or no? Yeah, I've seen that one. It's on the, I had Sailing Inheritance. <laughs> yeah, you eat, eat like a packed lunch and uh, it raises your engage meter to full, yeah. which is pretty good. It's just I always get to turn four and it's like, all right, time to refill it. And I realize like, oh, there's still at full health. Like, no. Yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, this is why you need Selica's other ability to lose uh, health whenever you cast a tome, right? Oh, that was the missing link. Yeah. Ah, but then I don't have cancer. Ah. <laughs> if only. Yeah. Well, pretty cool gonna see how I'm gonna utilize it, but I'm probably gonna stick Alir and Bayat together for more and see if I inherit anything new. He does have like a lot of abilities already, but I'm probably not gonna use this a whole lot for example anymore. <laughs> so Yeah, I think you could probably get rid of Void plus and Perceptive. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon so. This is back when I had more ambitions more ambitious plans with Bayat as a combat unit. Or well, they're the same person now, Alir and Bayat. They're the same person. Mm -hmm. Uh well um next day might be another Paralog day, because I honestly feel like knocking them out to get as many of them out of the way now, and then as I unlock more units, I'll just do, be able to do more Paralogs. I think we have Sacred and Leaf left, and that might be about it. I this. believe so. I believe so as well. Oh hey. no, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to doing the Leaf Paralog. <laughs> Me too. I know you'll have a chuckle when you get there. You'll be like, oh great. I uh, I'll, I'll consider it as the next one. Um, so we'll see you next time. See you next time.